I am loving all of the ways you can use Dollar Tree candle holders. Hey, Bestie, this is Lisa. Welcome or welcome back. If you want to craft your best life with me, then let's get started right now. For this Dollar Tree candle holder hack, I've got a clear glass candle holder, a beautiful glass jar from Dollar Tree, and then I picked up these little like cap tops from Hobby Lobby in the wood section. I've also got these half wooden beads I got from Amazon. I'm going to take one of the half wooden beads and put it in each of these sections in the bottom of the candle holder. See how I just hot glued them in place? Now I'm going to take three of these beautiful flowers from Dollar Tree. I think they're roses, and I'm going to take three sets of the leaves too. I'm going to snip off that little extra piece on the bottom of each one of the leaves. And then I'll do the same thing with all three flowers. What I'm going to do, I need to get rid of those little sticks, those little points that stick out. I'm going to hot glue the leaves to the bottom of the flower or the flower inside the leaves, however you want to say that. And then I'm going to put all three inside of the jar. I just want to see the flowers through the jar. Isn't that pretty? And you just kind of position them, you know, so that you they look the way you want from the outside, because obviously that's just a personal preference thing. Now I've got these fairy lights that I get on Amazon. I'm just going to unravel them really easy. And then they have a little piece of plastic in there. You pull it out and there you go. You just turn them on. They come with a battery. They're my favorite. And you get like 12, I want to say, in a package. They come in different sizes, but this is my favorite. And they're bright and, and then warm, whatever you want to get. Very, very cool thing to have on hand when you're crafting. I'm just going to put them all inside and then kind of position them so the lights, you can see them the best way around the flowers through the jar. I like to turn the lights on while I'm placing them so I can see what it's going to look like. And there they are all inside. I'm just going to put the lid back on the jar now. This is a really easy DIY once you get everything set up. I'm going to use this fix all adhesive. I'm going to kind of spread it out, you know, like maybe every you know inch or so, and then I'll put hot glue in between. And I'm just going to take the candle holder and attach it to the very bottom of the jar. And this creates, you know, a riser for it. I love having decor at different heights. It just makes things look more interesting and, you know, not everything's the same. I'm going to add some Fix-All and hot glue to the bottom of that little cap. And I'm going to keep it natural, just like the wood beads. I decided on this. I like the combination of the glass and the wood. Then I'm going to use some Goo Gone and clean up any of the glue that kind of seeped out. And then I'll clean up the greasiness of the Goo Gone with some rubbing alcohol. And that just does such a great job, especially if you do it very quickly while it's still wet. It's the easiest way to get rid of it. That's it. I think this one turned out beautiful. I already put it up because I started decorating for spring. I guess I'm ready for it. Let me know what you think. I think this is my favorite today. For this Dollar Tree candle holder hack, I've got two different candle holders from the Dollar Tree. Both are black. One's a tall one for like thinner candles and one is like for tea light size candles. And I'm just going to hot glue them together to make a taller candle holder. Plus I like that design. So I'm going to take one of these roses and some leaves off of this pick from Dollar Tree. I'm going to hot glue the leaves on first and then I'm going to hot glue the flower right to the leaves. And that's going to sit on what was the base of the shorter candle holder. And so it gives it some interest kind of in the middle. And then you can sit a little candle or, you know, even like a little battery operated candle up on the top, whatever you want. Now I want to do something towards the bottom. So I have this little polka dotted ribbon. It's white with the black polka dots. And I just cut a piece to go all the way around the base. And I'm just going to hot glue it on there. Nothing fancy there. I did decide to make a bow out of it as well. So once I get this situated, I don't know why I was using my dull scissors. Honestly, do you ever do that where you just don't think to grab your good scissors? So I'm struggling to get this thing cut perfectly. I don't know why. I, I find sometimes I just make things harder for myself and I don't know why. Tell me I'm not the only one, okay? I can't be the only one. Anyway, once I get this thing figured out, I'm going to take that ribbon and just make a, you know, awareness bow, bring down the center. And then I like to put a little dot of hot glue right in the middle there just to hold the pieces in place while I trim it and get it positioned. Otherwise, if you do the twine, I didn't want to do twine on this one. I just didn't think it would look as good. So as usual, I'm cutting off the ends of my bow at an angle um, and having so much fun with the dull scissors. 
Oh, where's that shake my head emoji when you need it? Anyway, got that thing on there. I'm going to hot glue it right on that piece that I put around the base. So I decided to grab a couple of really cute little buttons to put in the center. So I'm going to start with a black one, then do a pink one, and then do a kind of peach pink one that's like the flower. And that just gives it a little extra, you know, oomph and color. And I really love it. And that's that's all I decided to do this one. I think it turned out so cute. But I think a white candle would look really pretty in there. Let me know what you think. I love this one. And it was so easy. For this Dollar Tree candle holder hack, I've got another one of those glass candle holders. Those are actually my favorites. And then I've got this cute little mini tea set. Isn't that adorable? A friend gave it to me. She was going to give it to the Goodwill. I said, no, give it to me. I'll craft with it. And I love the gold around the edges. So I'm going to take some Rust-Oleum metal gold looking paint, and I'm going to paint that whole candle holder and just dry it off, move it around, paint the rest of it. And then I'm going to paint the back of that plate completely. It was just white with the gold edging. And I think that looks gorgeous. So now once I get it all dry, I will attach these to each other and create a gorgeous riser. Now I have a coffee bar station, but I drink tea. So I thought this would be cute to decorate with. So not just the coffee stuff, but tea as well. I'm going to use my fix all adhesive and I'm just going to kind of go around the outside of the top of that candle holder with leaving some gaps and do the fix all and then go back in with some hot glue and fill it in. And that's going to be how I get my immediate hold and then my really solid longer term hold. So there you go. And now just placing in the center. That is always a challenge for me. I don't think that I see very evenly. So usually it doesn't get right in the center. I think I actually did pretty good this time. So yay. And now I'm not going to glue on the little tea set because I do want to have the option of putting other things on here. I will put a couple of little greenery picks. These are from Amazon. Just some, um, I think they're eucalyptus. And then I'm going to add one flower. But I want to make it a little smaller because the regular size of the flower is just a teeny bit too big for this. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull off the back of the flower. It usually comes off with just a little bit of effort. And I'm going to knead that again when I'm done. And then I'm going to pull off several of the petals to get it to a smaller size. This way I don't have to cut and try to make it look perfect. See how it is? There's so many layers. And then I'm just going to put that end piece back on. And then I can just set it down and it'll be the right size. And I'll clip off that excess of the little stem. And there you go. And none of that is glued down. That way I can change it out seasonally or do whatever I want with it. And I love this one. I think the gold looks stunning. I absolutely love it. And it just matches so well with the little tea set. You could do this with anything you want. It doesn't have to be a tea set. For this Dollar Tree candle holder hack, I've got this beautiful flower candle holder and I've got this teacup that I think is just beautiful, so delicate. And this is easy. This is the easiest DIY in, that you'll see today. I'm going to cut some pieces of this plastic um, placement that I'd used before and I just need it to create a base there to set the teacup on. It's kind of lopsided if you do it with just that hole and the edges. So I'm going to kind of bend over the pieces of this and then trim it down so that you will not see that piece of plastic that I'm putting there. I just want a nice solid flat surface for this to be attached to. You could also fill in that hole with something, but I thought if I ever wanted to take this apart, then I'd still have the candle holder the way it was originally. Now I put it on top and it was just a teeny bit lopsided. I think that this just wasn't an even piece. You know Dollar Tree, nothing is even and no two pieces are the same. So I'm going to cut some little teeny more pieces of that plastic on the one side. You know how you do that with a table in a restaurant? You put like a sugar packet or something underneath to keep it from wobbling. I'm going to kind of do that where I just make one side a little taller with the plastic and glue that. And so now I'm going to pull off some more of that boxwood or excuse me, eucalyptus greenery. Just trim off the ends and I'm going to hot glue it all around the teacup. And literally, that's it. 
So you could still put a candle inside the teacup or you could put some flowers or, you know, whatever it is you want to put some sugar packets or, you know, Truvia, whatever you use. You could put that in there, and this is just such a cute little piece of decor. It's spring-like, but it also has that kind of coffee tea theme, which I thought was just so, so cute. That's it. That's how easy this one was. This would be a cute little gift, but just such a cute little decor piece, especially if you really like teacups. And I know a lot of people collect them, so let me know if you're one of those people. Ready for more inspiration? Here's another video I think you'll really like. If you click on it, I will see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.